Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on my February favorite. Uh, yeah, okay, so honestly, I haven't tried a whole lot of makeup products this year, or this year, skirt, this month, but I have tried a bunch of new lippies. So let's get right into it. So the first monthly lippy favorite that I love. This isn't in any order. This is just lip products first and this is just the first one I grabbed. This is the Milani Nude Lipstick in the shade Matte Naked. This is part of the new matte line. And I think it is a permanent, um, it is a permanent product so you don't have to worry about it being limited edition and running out because before these were limited edition but I guess now they're um, permanent. So again here's a quick swatch. I'll do up close swatches but this is a really nice everyday nude color that isn't going to wash out your face. This I'm not really a huge fan of wearing like really really nude colors because for me I don't like having my lips disappear on my face like my lips are actually like one of my favorite features on my face so to have them like totally just disappear with like I don't know a concealer colored lipstick that just isn't my thing and it, I'm not knocking it I mean it totally looks good on some people but I just don't like the way it looks on me but this lipstick is a very very comfortable matte lipstick and it is it does go on matte I wouldn't say it's not um, I wouldn't consider it to be a long wearing and there's the street sweeper, yay. Okay, so I wouldn't consider this lipstick to be necessarily long wearing, but it is very comfortable to wear. So even without chapstick underneath, I find this lipstick to be very comfortable. It's not the kind of matte that makes your lips feel really crusted or like dehydrated. It does have a bit of moisture to it and it's very affordable. I'll link everything I mentioned in this video down below so make sure you guys open up that description bar because I usually do link and list everything I mention in my videos. Next favorite, oh my god, is one of the new Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks. This is in the shade Berry Smoothie. Again, this is just, you know, another really easy everyday lipstick. I'll um, it's very comfortable. It is not matte. It's more of a satin finish. If you guys are familiar with their lipsticks, um, they're very comfortable. They usually do have coupon codes down below, so I'll link any if I find them, but I definitely will find them. <laughs> so blah, blah, blah. I'll link it down below for you guys to see. But again, it is just a really nice medium toned rosy berry color obviously berry so there is blue tone so it will make your teeth look a little bit whiter um, but again it's just a really comfortable formula and I've been keeping it in my bag for the month of February because I've just I've been loving these colors another favorite of mine is the Galactic matte lip cream this is in the shade demure I don't know why I like hesitated on buying this but I Every time I wanted to buy it, it was sold out, so I finally was able to swoop up on it. These matte lipsticks are, oh, matte lip paints are so comfortable. They are not drying at all. Well, maybe not at all, but I would say like maybe into like the fourth or third hour of like wearing the Galactic matte lip paint, it does become a little bit like you feel it on your lips. So. It's really easy to wipe off. It's not a stain. It won't stain your lips, but wiping this off is not an issue so that if you still want to wear it, you can just put it back on and three hours later, just reapply. And that's what I've been doing. It doesn't bother me to reapply lipsticks, so that's why I don't mind. <laughs> but yeah, this has also been in my bag. And gosh, I didn't even realize I wore so many lipsticks. Okay, so this is, I found this I'd say later in the short month of February, but it is a mini duo lip set by Buxom. This I found at Sephora. This lip gloss is in the shade Dolly. This lipstick is in the shade Hooligan. It is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I'm wearing Hooligan underneath, which is a, I would say a demi matte lipstick. And Buxom is again a lip gloss and I just paired that on top. They look very good together and I'll, I'll do really quick swatches for you. There's, so, here's Hooligan. And I don't know, 
I'm doing this because I'm going to do swatch it again for you guys afterwards anyway. But blah, blah, blah. I don't know how much these cost, but again, obviously, again, I'll be listing them down below in the description bar. So I think, I'm not even sure if these are like permanent items in their collection, but I just love the way they look. They don't make my lips like crust up. Not even crust up, but you know how like some lip glosses make your lips start to peel and then you can just like feel it gunking up on your like on your mouth and it's just nasty but this lips but this this lip gloss does not do that and neither does the lipstick the lipstick i found to when worn by itself is really really comfortable these two together have been like a go-to for me even when I'm just on the run. It's a no-brainer. This lipstick goes with this lip gloss really well, and either one can be worn by itself. So, been loving these together. So, a couple more favorites that I have been loving this month are the Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadows and the Makeup Geek um, Blushes. I've had these blushes for a while now, and I don't know, I just never really reached for them, but this whole month, I have totally been in love with the shade Infatuation and the shade Romance. Romance is supposed to be a dupe for um, orgasm, but has more of like a shimmery peachiness to it, which is something I really love, especially when I'm on the run, because it has like that natural, well not natural, it has like a sheen to it already, so I don't have to add a highlighter, it's just one last step, I guess. And as for the foiled eyeshadows, I wish I didn't hesitate on buying these shadows because I love them so much. They are so pigmented. I'm actually wearing one on my eyelids right now and it's in this shade Mesmerized. It's a really pretty like, I'd say neutral purpley color. But um, if you guys are interested, I have a tutorial on this look coming up. Um, it'll be shortly posted after this video so keep an eye out for that. And yeah, I just, I really, really love these eyeshadows. They're so pigmented, so perfectly reflective. And yeah, and they're only like, ten, I think nine or $10 each. So yeah, I would totally, totally recommend picking up at least a few of these eyeshadows because they're so smooth, so easy to work with, and they're so, so blendable. I love them. Two thumbs up for me. <laughs> As far as perfume, I have been loving my Jo Malone Blackberry and Bay. I love this stuff. It has a really like, this scent has a very strong citrusy scent, but right after you get tones of like muskiness. And it's just, I love this scent. Um, my husband got me this large size for Christmas and I just, I love it. I love it. And I've just been using it more so now. Now, because it is so pricey, like I don't want to, oh, it smells so good. Like I don't want to use it as often, but I've just, I've been reaching for it because I love it so much. Now I will say that these fragrances are very pricey. I mean, I don't know, I'm someone who is really attracted to scents and um, like aromatherapy is something that helps me like calm down. I, I am kind of a little bit of, I don't, I don't want to say like high strung person, but I do like things a certain way. Uh, <laughs> slash my way. <laughs> I swear, it's like ever since I've become a mother, like it just, I really like things a certain way. But anyway, so what I've been doing is like when I do my makeup, I burn a candle because I like to associate that scent with just something very therapeutic for me or something very calming, like taking a shower or you know, doing my makeup. Um, I just burn a candle like when I'm cooking or whatever or cleaning the house and I just associate that scent with like being calm and it totally, totally helps. I don't know if there's like a name for that, but yeah, that's what I do and it helps. So there's a little tip for mommies out there. Yeah, so hold on, speaking of mommies. So speaking of mommies, another thing that I have been loving for a few months now is this. It's by 31 Gifts. You can have, uh, if you go to their website, it's a bunch of like mommy friendly um, like bags and like organizers for your car or you know, you don't even have to put it in your car. You can just have them like around your house. But they have a bunch of like really cute prints. This bag in particular is meant for a stroller. So what you would do is you would hang this on the back side of like your stroller. Um, I particularly use it on my umbrella stroller because if you have like an umbrella stroller, like it doesn't have like a pocket. So here's a pocket right here. 
It is um, obviously see-through, so you can see what you put through it. And I really, I love this like zigzag print. I think it's just fun. And then you have like two elasticized cup holders right here. And then you have a pocket here, which you can, I just have like my one of my daughter's hair ties in there. And then I got it personalized with a cue. And you can change like whatever color you want or like there are a couple fonts that you can choose from, but I just chose black because it's um, discreet, but yeah. This is from my girlfriend's shop, so I just have to give her a holler. But um, yeah, if you guys want to help a sister out, go to her website down below and check it out. I've been loving this bag. So the last beauty favorite that I have been loving is my Sigma Brush Bath Mat. I have been using this thing up. I have washed my brushes so far four times in the last month. Is that crazy? Because you know like washing brushes can be quite the task but this mat makes it so easy. Now I will be honest that like I didn't want to give into like the gimmick of the um, brush glove because I don't know I just thought like that's stupid and it's like $40 or something so no I'm not gonna buy it but I did go to IMATS and I picked this up for like $24 which is cheaper than what it's usually sold for I think it's sold for like $30 but girl this brush mat has totally made cleaning brushes so much easier for me I really believe that they I don't know I just thought I think it's so smart like these this area right here is for like wash your face and then rinse your face and it's all um, labeled where you're supposed to you know do your steps but these right here these like rigid bubbles right here like when you're just rubbing or like washing your Sigma F80 it just there's a gardener it just <laughs> oh man I can't film right now with that sound so like I was saying these ridges in the wash face side um, are protruding enough so that it really reaches inside of your Sigma F80. If you guys are familiar with a Sigma F80, then it you guys know that it's meant for foundation and it's really, really densely packed with the bristles. So the makeup or foundation really gets in there and it's really hard to get off if you're just washing with your hands. But this side really goes up there and just pulls everything out and it makes your brush no joke look like new when when you squeeze it when you squeeze out the excess water it just it runs clear which is gnarly it takes maybe like one minute of like rubbing it across this side and it just pulls everything out so I love this mat it is a lifesaver as far as washing eye brushes this side where it says wash eyes um, is again protruding enough so that you could wash like maybe four or five brushes at once. It just makes the cleaning process so much less tedious and even enjoyable because it's just it's so easy. So I definitely definitely recommend this Sigma cleaning mat. Also it comes with these like um, suction things so it's not like slipping and sliding all over your sink. It stays in place. I think that's it. So that's it guys, that completes my February favorites. I hope you found something useful with this video or I gave you a little push to go out and try some new products. Anyway, please don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and comment down below. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.